two away now the cleanup batter jada cooper steps Number to the plate and she's one of the leaders of the jada team cooper. for the houston astros nike rbi team you watching that last nike rbi spotlight jada cooper very vocal about how heartbreaking the loss was last year First pitch to her is a strike at the letters. It's a tough loss, and getting to hear her talk about it and the emotions that go into it, I know that she's ready to come out and just get this championship under her belt. But she is a tone setter. Coach Megan did say that she kind of sets the tone, leads by example. She's been fun to watch. Shallow pop flying to left field. It lands in front of Gossie Fisher for a base hit. Looked like she was jammed on the inside part of her bat, but able to muscle it into left field. Runners are on first and second. Good piece of hitting. It's a good pitch to take advantage of, knowing that she can continue to climb that ladder. Just getting the barrel on the ball. Here's the dangerous Jada Cooper, who's well off the plate. Nobody out runner on first. There's a deep fly ball to left field. And it is off the base of the fence. Peniagua goes to third, and Jada Cooper standing on second with a wall ball double. Just barely missed a home run there off the bat. I thought it had a chance. I think so did the base runner, Peniagua. She started trotting around second base. Jada Cooper started trotting too. She thought it had some distance. <laughs> This first pitch swinging, that ball was belt high, perfectly placed for a shot. I think everybody thought that one was out. And now Kristen White and DC Elite Nike RBI, they're going to have to go to work here. One, two again. Change up line towards left. Gazi Fisher can't get to it, rolls all the way to the wall, and Jada Cooper is three for three today. Lined over the head of the left fielder. Jada Cooper, just an incredible hitter. I love how she kind of landed that foot and held on just for an extra second. Her timing was a little bit off, but she was able to adjust get the bat out there and still send it over Kennedy Gazi Fisher's head over in left field. And that was not a bad pitch from White. It was no. an off-speed pitch low and outside, and somehow Cooper aligns it over the head. Just able to make that last-second adjustment. You saw her stride and land and kind of hold tight just because she identified that it was coming in a little bit slower. Late, and sometimes that does happen. The high and inside pitches. Low Cooper with a delay to steal. Oh my goodness. Jada Cooper delays stealing third. <laughs> Catching DC Elite Nike RBI on their heels. I love the energy, but definitely taking advantage of your defense falling asleep on you. You've got to be heads up, especially in the championship game. You've got to be alert. One, two is lined foul. And what I love about that is Jada Cooper is not the fastest right. base runner on this field, but she just showed how high her softball IQ is. I was not a fast base runner. I know you were a slapper. <laughs> you were fast. I was not. I played first. But having a high baseball IQ, you can still take that extra 60 feet for your team. Yeah, and I love that she's willing to do it with the energy that she did it with. She was so confident taking that. And you'd see some players kind of question that, but... Great job. The pitch is swung on and missed for strike three. Here's the throw home, though, and a collision at the plate. Cooper is called safe. And we're going to see a replay. Cooper currently on the ground still. There was a collision at home. We'll take a look at it again. So it was a drop three, drop third strike. The catcher Burrell had to throw to first. She did. And then Cooper took off, and there's that collision. And I believe she's called safe at the plate. We're going to see the perfect angle at home here. I think we're seeing Coach Harry Thomas arguing that she needed to slide and go in head first. 
not acceptable here, but. And there's Jada Cooper with that big smile, showing <laughs> that she's all right. We've seen Jada just ignite your whole team. What does she mean to this team? Jada's energy. Jada is the one who brings the energy to our team. She's not energy. Everybody else is kind of down. Whenever she gets up, we know we're up right now. Awesome. Thank you, Bella. Jill, to you. So Nike RBI. Jada Cooper doing some fantastic things. We're going into the seventh. Here's another Nike RBI spotlight. Here in the top of the seventh inning, DC Elite Nike RBI does need to score two to extend this ball game. Squares to Bunt, pops it up. Jada Cooper catches it. And Houston Astros Nike RBI are back on top. They have now won four championships since 2018. The chip on the shoulder. <laughs> it works for them. Back on top. And it's really just fitting that that final out was right to Jada Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> they are back. What an incredible performance by both sides of the field. What a pitcher's duel. Both Kristen and Isabella just doing such a great job on the mound. Let's take a look at that final out. The bunt pop-up to Jada Cooper. Pops to the third baseman Cooper and immediately throws the ball, throws the glove in celebration. And probably the highest energy team here in this tournament just won the championship again. They lost last year, a heartbreaking loss after winning three in a row. They knew what they wanted to do this year. They were undefeated this entire tournament and they were, they outscored opponents 56 to eight, including today's game.